This is uh, how we can use robots to create 30 days or more of content in one hour or less. It's in four steps. This will probably take, especially your first time, this is probably going to take about the whole hour because you have to learn how to use some of these tools. But once you learn this, uh, it's going to be pretty much autopilot. And then that leaves you with a couple options. Once you learn how to do this, uh, it just takes you a little bit of time every month uh, to set up content, or you can hire a VA and show them this video for all I care and show them how to do this. Um, so it's going to be in four simple steps. Step one will be that we're going to um, we're going to grab a template spreadsheet that we have to fill out. Step two is that uh, we will actually ha have a robot write all of our content. This is where most people get a lot of um, they get really hung up and spend most of the time uh, because they're writing content for themselves and that takes a long time or they want to hire someone to do that. Uh, better to just use a robot to write the content, and I'm going to show you how today. Uh, and then we have to uh, post photos to the spreadsheet, and then and I'm going to show you a really quick way how to do that as well. Uh, and then we're going to upload the CSV into our social media planner. We're going to need a handful of tools to do this, all of which, by the way, you can grab at bestautomationtools.com. You do not need to, to buy this program, the Best Automation Tools program to access these tools. I'm just going to give you right now um, the uh, the subdomains that you need. So for example, you need uh, bestautomationtools.com forward slash. And you can get these tools as we're going through them. Uh, you'll need a Metricool account. You will need, um, uh, you will need Jasper account. Metricool, I think, is free. Jasper has a free trial. If you use this link, it's a 14-day free trial, so you can actually test it out. You'll need your Canva account. And I think that, oh, we'll need an Imgur account, which is free. So a lot of this stuff is either, you probably already have it. If you're in business, if you don't, you should probably have these. The point you probably don't have is, or the two you probably don't have is um, Metricool or Jasper. Again, Metricool, I think I think if you just have one brand, uh, it's free account, that's fine. And then Jasper has a 14 day free trial. Jasper is the, this is the bot that does a lot of the writing for you. And again, it's definitely worth the money, uh, but we will go over that um, we will go over that as we go through. So the first thing we need to do is to start a spreadsheet and uh, we need to grab a template from Metricool. All right, so if you don't know what Metricool is, uh, I'm not gonna go into it too much, but it's a social media planner, which you can hook up all of your social media accounts, by the way, and manage them. And not only that, if you have multiple brands, uh, you can use, do multiple brands. Um, so this brand I have is, the brand I'm working on right now is called Top Graduate System. It's a brand new funnel I've got. And um, so I've only hooked up my the Facebook page and the Instagram account. And the Instagram account doesn't have too much content. It's brand new. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, top Graduate System. And what I'm going to do is build 30 days of content for this. Um, yes, you've only got four posts in here so far. I would like, this is kind of a in the background funnel for me. I'm not really working on it. So what I want to do is build out a month of content that it posts at least once a day. And, um, and uh, yeah, so at least to buy me some, some more time. So that's exactly what I'm doing. So head over to Metricool, sign up, hook up the Instagram account or all the social media accounts that you're gonna be using. And once you've done that, we're gonna go hit the planning tab right here at the top. And we're gonna to go to download their bulk uploader. And you do that by clicking the import export CSV and you wanna hit import CSV and you wanna hit this button right here, it says download the template. Now I've already downloaded the template, but when you download that template, it's going to download. And what you want to do is head over to Google, upload that template like in here as a CSV file. And then we want to hit open with Google Sheets and it will create a Google Sheet for us. Great. And here it is. And you can see now here, the very top row are the categories. We don't want to mess with that. 
eventually what we will want to do is uh, the second row we're going to want to go through here and uh, and mark this up. But what we're actually going to be doing is creating 30 full rows. So I'm going to, uh, it already has two rows. So I'm going to add 29 more rows here. And we're going to hit add. And now there's 33. That's okay. Um, that's, that's quite, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So basically what we're going to be doing now from the rest of the timeout is working off of this spreadsheet. And I'm going to rename this spreadsheet to top grad system, Instagram photo posts. And we'll say 921 through 1021. So this is going to give me a month worth uh, of, or maybe 10, 30, 10, 10, 20, I'm not sure, uh, 30 to 10 September. Yeah, so it's probably 10, 30 or 10, 20, sorry. Perfect. All right, so this first column ultimately is where we're gonna put our text. That's the text that the robot is gonna work for us. Now, when we upload, what we're gonna do is fill this all out with our text and our photos, and we're gonna tell this spreadsheet exactly where to post uh this stuff whether that's going to be in facebook twitter linkedin google my business instagram uh we have all the columns for the pictures we're going to be uploading and then pinterest if you have pinterest we have to tell if it instagram post real or short by the way you can also upload youtube videos uh and uh youtube shorts keep them public or private etc cetera, etc cetera. this is very dynamic uploader all right, so the first thing, let's go ahead and fill out these dates. Now, these dates are very, very finicky, as are the times. So the date, we're going to start tomorrow. So let me uh, choose the day here. It doesn't take forever to do that way. So what I'm going to do here is 2020, and it has to be 09. And then I'm going to start with 21. And then I'm going to do 2020-09-22 and 2020-2020-09-23. And now I'm going to select each one of these boxes and then drag that blue box all the way down to number 30. And that will give me at least the 1019. So let's see if I can just stretch it out two more. Perfect. So until the 21st. Now, uh, the times, we can play with the times, uh, you know, like this is going to be a photo post on Instagram. Um, I'm probably just going to have this go in about 1030 a.m. every day. Uh, so what I'm going to do is 1030. Now, this is in military time. And so it's, oh, that says p.m., so a.m., which is going to be 1030. And let's actually mix it up. Let's do... Uh, 215 every day as well. So I'm going to alternate between these two days. So I'm going to select these two and then drag this down. Oh, that created a pattern. That's not what I wanted to do. So I'm going to hit control Z. Sorry, I meant to do control C, which is copy. And then I'll do paste, paste, paste paste and I'm just going to try to save a little bit more time. Select all these again. Do copy and do paste and paste. And then I'll do a 1030. Copy, paste, perfect. Okay, so those are the times it's going. Uh, do we want these to be drafts or published when we upload them? We want them to be uh, published. So we'll do draft false, which is fine. Just go ahead and drag this all the way down. Now for some of the falses, I don't think you need to fill out false every time. Uh, for Facebook, no, we want Facebook to be false because we're doing this just for Instagram. You can do it for um, Facebook as well in the same upload. You can do them all. 
it's a little bit tricky with that with formatting. So you just want to be careful. Now I want to do false for Facebook, Twitter. We're going to do a false. LinkedIn, false. Google My Business, false. Instagram, true. Pinterest, false. TikTok, false. YouTube, false. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is grab all of these like this, with the control button in my mouse. And then I'm going to grab this guy here. And drag this all the way down so that it creates all of those like that. So all we have for true is Instagram. Perfect. We're going to delete these pictures. These are the sample pictures. And come over here, shortener, we're gonna put false. Uh, we don't need this, we can delete this. On Instagram post, we wanna put post. And we're gonna bring that all the way down. And then this is not a YouTube video, so we can delete these just like that. All right, we are now ready for the big part, the one of the key parts. All right, so now what we're gonna do is here in the text, this is all the text that we're going to have a robot write for us. And what we're gonna do now is then head over to um, AI income, what you're going to, if you, if you want to get the 14 days free to try this out, go to AI, in, or I'm sorry, go to um, HTTP colon slash slash uh, best automation tools.com forward slash Jasper. And it should take you there. Um, another option you can do is video bot. Oh, no, it should be just Jasper. Yeah, sorry, go to just just do the Jasper like that. All right, it's not working right now, but by the time this video is up, it will work. And uh, now you're going to log in. And what Jasper does, it's a writing robot. It It's amazing. It's crawled like 10 to 15% of the uh, internet. And I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but you want to hit this templates button and see everything that this robot can do. It's crazy. It can write ads for you. It can write uh, descriptions for you. Um, this is the power of artificial intelligence. I mean, a lot of people think AI is like taking over the world, uh, and it might be. But you know, for us business owners and content creators, we can definitely put it to use, and this will save you so much time. I'm going to show you right now what I mean. All right. So what I'm going to do is. The first thing I want to do is come up with some good topics uh, to write. So I basically need 30 days of content. And so I'm going to go to the blog post topic ideas right here. I think that's the one I want to do. It's so dynamic. Product description, audience, tone of voice. Yeah, I think let's do this. So top graduate system is the name of this company product description is let's see um generate rich notes for meetings interviews lectures and other important voice conversations with auto your ai empowered assistant no this is um get the best act or sat score learn how from this mom who helped her son get a perfect ACT score. Okay, and the audience is gonna be for parents of high school kids uh, who are in math class. And I'm gonna have a more serious tone to it. And I'm gonna have it just generate three right now. It's just so I hit generate. And this is gonna just give me ideas uh, these are blog post ideas. Okay, cool. Um, so now what I'm going to do is hit copy to clipboard. And now I'm going to head back over to this dashboard and I'm going to show you a really powerful 
um, tool here. It's called commands right here. So you hit command. And literally, this is like the most powerful part of this Jasper program. So uh, do you have any background information for Jasper? Yes. So you just talk to it like a person. I'm writing small posts for Instagram posts, small captions. Instagram posts for a uh, an account called Top Graduate System. Um, the account is for a math tutor who tutors high school students. Okay. So the command, we're gonna tell Jasper, write 150 word, uh, write 150 words about, and then I'm gonna hit paste, about are you worried about your child's math grades? And then I'm gonna say, um, let's see, write in a serious voice tell people to um, check out the link in the bio for more info. So let's see what it outputs. I'm gonna just put two for now and hit generate and see what Jasper comes up with. Okay, uh, this is a little too serious. Are you worried about your child's math grades? You should be. Check out the link in our bio for more info on how our top graduate math system can help your child thrive in math and get the grades they need and deserve. Okay, that's not exactly what I was looking for, so that's okay. Um, are you worried about your child's math grades? You should be, but don't worry, we can help. Check out the link in our bio for more information. Okay, we can say, um, let's, we gotta, let's, just add, let's just add to this a little bit. Write 150 words. Let's see, let's make it um, write 200 words, write a 200 word post about, uh, are you worried about your child's math, about what to do? If you are worried about your child's math grades. Write in a serious voice, but hopeful. Uh, tell people to check out the link in the bio for more info. And we'll also say up here, let's see, the account is for a math tutor uh, who tutors high school students Wait, who helped her son get a perfect score on the ACT. She now tutors high school students to get the best grade possible. Okay, so let's try this. Perfect. Are you worried about your child's math grades? Don't worry, you're not alone. In fact, one of four students report feeling stressed about math, but don't panic. There are things you can do. The best thing you can do is make sure your child's getting enough practice. If you're looking for a tutor, check out Top Graduate System. Our math tutors have helped students get perfect scores in the ACT, and they can help your child too. Visit our website to learn more about the math service. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to grab this. Actually, I'm going to click on this. Now, it's really important because we're, we're um, it's tough in the... Uh, in here, you can't like copy and paste. If you paste with spaces, you're gonna paste on different lines. So what we have to do for right now is take out all of these spaces like this and then hit, let's see, hit copy and then head back over to the, uh, the spreadsheet and hit paste and get in there. So look at that. Uh, we have one done. So all we need to do now is go back here and see what the second one it popped up. If you're concerned about your child's math grades, don't panic. You can still help. You can 
still help them improve their skills. Check out the link in our bio for more information about how our tutor can help. Your child can achieve great things in math at the right guidance and support. Don't hesitate to get in touch if you have any questions. Perfect. Copy the clipboard. And I'm not going to put it exactly here because I'm mixing up the topics a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to plop it right here in number seven. Okay, awesome. And I, I like the way that's sounding. Um, I might actually, oops, go back to Jasper. I may actually say um, uh, in here, don't, don't use the word I or we or us. I don't like it uh, when they kind of talk that way. So I'm gonna hit generate two more. And go up, okay. As a parent, it's natural to worry about your children's grades. It can be tough to know where to start when it comes to helping them improve, but don't worry, we're here to help. The best place to start is by checking out uh, our website. Oh, it's still used hours where you can find tons of information uh, if you're still worried, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We offer private tutoring services. Let's see. All right, so I'm going to, sometimes it doesn't work and doesn't listen to like uh, <laughs> this instruction. That's okay. This is still uh, appropriate. So I had to click in here real quick, delete the spaces. And what we'll, we'll end up doing is um, after we upload it, we're going to go in and just format the design um, real quick, but it won't take that long to do. So what I'm gonna do at this point is show you two more. What's nice is that the robot can generate content and then you can go in and edit briefly and then hit copy and take that text and pop it down wherever you want to plop down. Now, uh, the, the robot is very smart. So if we go back to the dashboard and we go back to the templates and go to that blog post topic ideas and see the outputs that it gave, oops, let's go. Uh, oh yeah, let's see the outputs it gave me. What every parent needs to know about the ACT, SAT. So I'm gonna copy that. Go back here to the commander. Read a 200 word post about what every parent needs to know about the SAT, ACT. Write in a serious voice, but hopeful. Tell people to check out the link in the bio. Don't use, don't use the first person. Keep it focused on the parent who is reading the post. Let's see what this generates. Now what's nice is this robot um, is reading the internet, but it will never plagiarize. Uh, no one can guarantee your child will get a perfect score in the ACTRC, but hiring a tutor can give them the best chance possible. At Top Graduate System, we specialize in helping students achieve their highest potential on these tests. Check out our website for more info on how you can check, check. Yes, okay, that's fine. So let's delete that. And then control all, control C, right over here. Let's plop this down right here. And then let's go back to Jasper. The ACT and SAT are important tests that can determine a student's future education and career. It's important that every parent knows about these tests. The best way to prepare for the ACT is to get a tutor. Another important thing to remember is the ACT is just one factor that colleges look at. Okay, good. Um, yep, I'm gonna use that one. So you can see um, the potential here because all we're doing is putting this in Instagram, but you can see how this could be used for um, I mean, this, the robot will literally do anything you tell it to do, to write copy, to write blog posts. I mean, um, different formats. If you need video scripts, if you need anything, this robot just pumps out tons of unique content that's not been used before. And it can be SEO rich. You can, you can tell it to use certain keywords. 
Um, and if you don't like it, you can just hit generate again, generate again, and it will keep generating. What I'm going to do now, though, is uh, I'm going to skip so that you don't have to sit here and watch me do this and save you some time and let you do this and fill out. And once you get this all filled out with your um, 30 rows of text from Jasper, then come back and hit uh, start on the video. Real quick, I just put in here, write a 200 word post about the ACT perfect score statistics. And it's really cool. I mean, Jesper came up with, uh, he actually got some really cool statistics. It says in the United States, only 1.6 million students take the ACT. Of these students, less than 1% get a perfect score. That's around 16,000 students out of 1.6 million. Getting a perfect score is no easy feat, but it's not impossible. Ingrid, a math tutor from top graduate system, helped her son get a perfect score in the ACT. Now she tutors high school students to help them get better grades. I mean, this is a great post that he wrote. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to copy that exactly. And I, you can see I've been filling out, uh, filling this out. It's going along swiftly. Going to be done definitely in, in the hour. All right, I'll see you back shortly. Okay, so I'm posting my final one here, right there. Perfect, so now this robot has just created for me a month worth of Instagram posts, which is great. The only other thing we need to do now is grab our picture URLs. All right, so what you need to do for this is uh, you need to go grab a free Imgur account, imgur.com. And once you create your account, you can add images. Now, what this is important because um, when we upload to Metricool, this image here has to be a, it has to be online. It can't, we're not uploading a photo to Metricool. We're actually just telling Metricool a link. So this has to be a, a link, a URL, and it, it can be on Google Drive, I think, but um, it's just easier to do this way. And I'll show you why in a minute, why it's easier to do Imgur rather than Google Drive. Um, again, what's cool, Imgur has, this is a free account, so you can do this. Now I've already uploaded the images I'm gonna use. Um, you can see here, I've what I've done is just uploaded 30 images of graduation people, but you can, you can upload individual photos, uh, pictures of yourself, however you wanna do it. Uh, real quick, the easiest way to do this is to go to your Canva account. Uh, and then um, when you're home, I'll show you real quick. If you go back to the home, up here in the corner, you create, um, you hit create design. Sorry, my computer's just a little bit slow tonight. You hit create design and you hit Instagram post square. And then you can hit that and it'll open up uh, the project for you. And then it only opens up with one square, but all you have to do here is hit this button right here, the duplicate page button, and it'll create like another one for you. And you can just change the background. So I already went through here just real quick. It only took me maybe like 10 minutes. And I just, I created 30 squares or whatever it was. And then I went over here to elements and typed in um, graduation. And I hit photos. And I just grabbed photos and brought them over here. And once that was done, I hit the share button and I hit download and I downloaded it to my computer. And then I went to my Imgur account and uploaded them here. Now, why is it so important to use the Imgur? I'll show you. So let's now go to, I created a, a special folder for it called Top Grad System. And right here, uh, you can hit view image info, click that and hit generate image links. And then you have to select which images you want. So all you have to do is go along here and select which images we want all of these images. Okay, brilliant. And then uh, I'm going to hit done. And then what's important, this is really important, uh, you got to do a drop down here and hit direct link, email and IM. And the direct link is going to make sure it has the .png on it. Okay, that's, uh, that's important for this spreadsheet to read. So I have them all here. And all I have to do is hit control C. I think that's all I have to do. Yep, control. Uh, are these all highlighted? I think they are. 
Yeah, they're all highlighted. Control C and go over here. And right here, I hit Control V. And boom, they're all posted in there like that. I am missing one here at the bottom. That's okay. I will worry about that one later. Or well, let's see, maybe I can just grab, you know, I'm just gonna repost whatever this picture is to here. Now, what I did was I, when I was choosing these pictures on Canva and on Imgur, I made sure that whatever I was gonna post related to this photo would work like with any of the, the text, right? So the text, in order to do this quickly and at scale, any of these, this text would work with any of these photos. Does that make sense? So when you're creating your own photo, now you can put selfies in here, you can put real pictures and tell your story. Um, if you have, whatever, just get creative with it. Um, and you can also upload more than one picture. So if you have a whole story for each one, you can upload those stories. Okay. Um, let's do false. Let's bring this all the way down. I'll be honest, I'm not quite sure what that the shortener means, but that's okay. Put that there. And I think this is actually ready to go. Our spreadsheet is actually ready to be uploaded. So now what we're going to do is hit file and we're going to download. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not ready. There's a few other things I want to do real quick. Uh, you don't have to do this, but this is, this is an option. So if you uh, go to extensions and hit power tools, if you don't have power tools, hit add-ons and get add-ons and look for this, this one called power tools and install power tools. What I'm going to do with power tools is we're going to actually add some other text in here, which is going to be really um, important for Instagram. And I'm going to do tools and we're going to do um, so quick power tools tools and hit text and we're going to actually insert text into each one of these posts all at the same time so we're going to hit add and what i want to do is add a line break at the end uh, of each one of these so i'm going to go over here and select all of these can i quickly do that i think i can yeah, here we go. So it's to highlight all of these. And what I'm going to do is add a line break at the end of each one of those texts, OK? And then I want to add the text this link in bio at the end, hit add. And then I'm going to hit, uh, I want to do another line break. Add. And then I'm going to hit one more line break, add. And then at the very end, I'm going to add all of my hashtags. So I'm going to do hashtag math, hashtag math tutor, hashtag graduate, hashtag ACT prep. SAT prep, ACT study, SAT study. Um, did or do math helps. You can add all your hashtags. Math tips, math help. Parents need to know for mom, for dad, high school. Okay, cool. So let's just do that. And then we're gonna have we're gonna add those all the way to the end. And that's just gonna save us a ton of time. So I'm gonna close that. Now we are ready. And I'm gonna hit file, download, and we're gonna download as a C a CSV. Beautiful. Now we're gonna head over to Metricool again. And then we're going to import the CSV. And we already picked up that template. So I'm going to go here and attach the template downloads. I think it's right here, top grad system. Let's see if we got it done right. 
Some posts have errors. What are the errors? The publish date can't be a past date, so that's okay. So apparently I have, oh, huh, I put 2020 for some reason. Would you figure that's okay, 2022. That's good. I'm glad there was an error so you could see what happens when there is an error. That's what I was saying. It's very finicky, but of course it's just data. So it's important to get it right so that it does it correctly. That's okay. We can fix it. Good. That should be all right. Now let's try and save this again. What's good if there is a problem, it will tell you. And we're going to hit back so it will undo that. And there are no errors. And this is so good. So we're going to now import the 31 posts. Import is now finished. I'm going to hit accept. And look at that. We now have all of our posts are scheduled. And now some of them still need to be a formatted just a little bit. And I'll show you what I mean. Uh, so you can take some time if you want. But like, if even if you didn't, that would be okay. So uh, just as we put in there, we have a line break, link in bio, line break with all of our hashtags. There's the photo that I uploaded. You know, are you worried about your child's math grades? You know, we might want to put some spaces in here to make it easy, uh, easier for people to read. But that's kind of optional, you know. You don't have to do this. Um, so you can might just take another few seconds to do that. I'm just going to finish this up. Uh, and as I do that, I just hope you found this helpful. Uh, what's great, again, Metricool has all of the, so we'll hit save. It's going to auto-publish. This is great. This is just so nice. Uh, yeah, that's really, really good. So that will now publish tomorrow morning. All right. What's so great about this, again, Metricool has all these different connections. And with the combination of these robots, it's super powerful. So I could actually now, um, you know, I can make, uh, I always would just say like duplicate this over here. And let's say I want to duplicate this. So I've just duplicated that entire sheet. And let's say I want to actually create this now for Facebook. I would just have to write true for Facebook. Like this. So I just changed that all the true to Facebook and then we'll go over to Instagram. And the reason I wouldn't do true for Instagram and Facebook is because um, I don't want all those hashtags to be on there. So I just have to make a few adjustments and I have just now created, um, let's see if I can do this. I've now just created 30 days of Facebook posts, almost instant. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'll show you real quick. So let's go here. And I'm going to go back to those power tools. Yeah, so if you want to uh, remove, what we could do is uh, for this, like I don't want all those hashtags in there. So what we could do is just say, uh, go to the, the tools and hit remove. And then down here, it says remove characters before or after text. And I want to remove uh, all the characters after link in bio. So then I'm going to go over here highlight all of these and then hit remove. And that will remove all of those. And it'd be nice to actually remove anything that says with link in bio. Let's see if that works. It did, beautiful. So we actually re were able to remove with power tools uh, some of these things. So now, we're actually ready to upload this to Facebook. Uh, actually, let's go over here real quick. And we don't need this. 
we can just delete all of these because it's no longer Instagram. I think that's all the Facebook options that we need to do. YouTube, TikTok, Pinterest, Insta, Google My Business, Facebook. Yeah, so I think this is pretty much ready to go for Facebook. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna rename this real quick. Facebook photo posts. And we're going to download as a CSV and then we'll head back over here to Metricool and planning. And we will do an import CSV. Grab this here. And there we are. We're gonna import 31 posts. And look at that, that's really cool. Now, added bonus of um, Metricool. Metricool actually will read your followers on either Instagram or Facebook, and it will tell you the best time to post. Okay, so my Facebook page is brand new for this account, so it doesn't know anything, but for Instagram, it already has some followers. What's cool is I can just grab these uh, Instagram posts, and I can move them around to the best times. Um, even though I, in the spreadsheet, I, I said certain times, but that's okay. I can just move them uh, around here so that they'll hit my followers at the right time. And then Facebook will do the same if you just toggle over here. Okay. So, uh, okay, good. If you found this helpful, please let me know. Leave a comment below. Uh, please use the tools. Uh, and if you end up using the tools, I really appreciate if you would go to those tools through bestautomationtools.com and then forward slash like Jasper, Canva, uh, and Metricool in particular, if you end up eating uh, accounts um, just you know, in Thanksgiving for this, um, this education and really appreciate it. Hey, follow me over on Instagram. Uh, it's instagram.com. My name is, uh, don't go to top graduate system, go to Ryan K. Eggenberger. Give me a follow there. And definitely check out if you wanna know more, uh, go to the AIincomecourse.com where I teach you how to make money online using tools uh, and robots just like I you, showed you here, uh, especially how to build funnels and drive traffic to those funnels as, as best as possible. All right. Have a good day. Bye.